excited. Uh, James Dobson, head of the Focus on the Family, uh, outspoken uh, in the Christian right circles, said this the other day, I would not vote for John McCain under any circumstances, and I pray that we won't get stuck with him. You responded, I'm obviously disappointed. I'd like to continue and have a dialogue with Dr. Dobson and other members of the community. Are you going to reach out to Dr. Dobson? No. Uh, it's a free country, and Dr. Dobson is very much entitled to his opinion. I meant I will continue a dialogue with everybody in America that would like to have a dialogue with me, including on this issue of the war in Iraq. But not with Dr. Dobson? It, it, if, of course, if Dr. Dobson would like to have a conversation, I'd be glad to have a conversation with anyone. One of the things that Dr. Dobson was most concerned about was your support of a res legislation which would demand uh, that organizations provide their fundraising list when they were doing grassroots lobbying. This was the Hill newspaper the other day. McCain does about face on grassroots reform bill. Senator gets on the same page as base conservative groups. You flipped, Senator. You were very much in favor of that kind of transparency, and then you voted against it on the floor. Why have you flipped on a legislation that Dr. Dobson cared about, conservative groups cared about? Is it because you're trying to win their favor in your race for president? Uh, I, I hate to keep referring to Dr. Dobson, but his, uh, among his many other objections to me was his view of my commitment to the sanctity of marriage. But uh, I, as over a year ago, I had changed my position on this issue because I believe that it was too big a bite to take. I believe that there's ambiguities concerning it. And uh, so I believe that it was better to move forward with the reforms that we can make. And so that's a position that I took well over a year ago. But it also helps you politically. I don't, I don't know how it how it helps me politically. Incurring favor with conservative groups that were very much opposed to your original legislation. There was many liberal groups who were opposed to the legislation as well as, as I understand it. Some of these grassroots organizations are very legitimate organizations. As we found out during the Abramoff investigation, some are not. We should be able to find out and discriminate between the two. Here's the latest